Hi Aquarius, this is what happened in the next 48 hours for September the 1st through September the 2nd, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for September the 1st through September the 2nd, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Aquarius for September the 1st through September the 2nd, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Aquarius for September the 1st through September the 2nd, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Aquarius. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Aquarius, these are your cards, honey. So, Aquarius, you have the four of wands. Aries, Leora, Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So Aquarius, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property. Clarify the four of wands for Aquarius. Clarify the four of wands for Aquarius. Clarify the four of wands for Aquarius. It is clarified with the four of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, there is an offer on the table that you're not accepting nor rejecting. You're contemplating this offer, but actually you're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of you contemplating sending an offer, but you fear that the offer would be rejected. So Aquarius, listen, very well could be an offer coming into you that you're thinking about missing. However, you could be contemplating sending an offer. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. Now, Aquarius, very well could be an offer for commitment or leveling up coming into you when you're thinking about missing it, or you're wanting to come in with this offer for commitment or to level up. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. Could also be some type of invite to some type of celebration here, Aquarius. Aquarius, you have the king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Two of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This can be you managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. So, Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that you're weighing things up trying to decide should you, shouldn't you? Or you're telling me that juggling has taken place here. Now, Aquarius, you could be weighing things up trying to decide should you, shouldn't you go into some type of commitment and have this commitment or stability with someone here. You can tell me that in you guys' is already established commitment that someone was juggling here.
Aquarius, you have the King of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify the King of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify the King of Cups for Aquarius. It is clarified with the world. So you may be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. <clears throat> Aquarius. <clears throat> You can tell me that there's distance between you guys, emotional distance or geographical distance. <clears throat> you can tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world for Aquarius. Clarify the world for Aquarius. Clarify the world for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from their past is in the picture. Someone from your past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here. Or this involves children. Now, Aquarius, you can tell me that you feel some type of way, but you're not letting them see you sweat. You're masking your emotions here, closing out the cycle because you found that someone from their past is in the picture. Or you're finding that something from the past is being brought back up here that someone was juggling in you guys' commitment here. And so you no longer want commitment. However, Aquarius, listen, is this about you coming back around again to someone, reuniting here? But you're trying to decide because you feel like they won't accept the offer to go out and celebrate or something? Aquarius, you have the Ace of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So, Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that you guys are having this communication. You can tell me that you've come into some truth and clarity. <clears throat> you can tell me that you're making a decision or you're using the sword to sever. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Aquarius. Clarify the Ace of Swords. For Aquarius, clarify the Ace of Swords for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Nine of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone in my own right am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. Aquarius, you can tell me that you're independently abundant on your own or you're single. Listen, Aquarius, is someone offering you commitment here? And you're debating. And you're saying, no, I want to be single. Mm -mm, no, I want to be single. Maybe you want to close out the cycle of anything or anyone from your past. Or you want to be single because I don't know if you want to deal with someone from your past. And what is this, Aquarius? You have the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Where this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So, Aquarius, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed. You can tell me it's an actual change in your luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Aquarius. 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 Clarify the Wheel
for Aquarius. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Page of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there's a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. Now you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for Aquarius. Clarify the page of cups for Aquarius. Clarify the page of cups for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck. Like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, blocked communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that you're feeling stuck in a situation here or there's blocked communication. You know, Aquarius, you can tell me that someone that you're in a commitment with Aquarius may be trying to apologize, wanting to reunite here, wanting to restore you guys' commitment. And maybe you're feeling like, you know what, I'm just going to make a decision to become single here. But Aquarius, it just feels like you're wanting to offer something here. I don't know if you want to go out and celebrate here, but because you're still in some type of commitment, you'll find yourself juggling. You feel like you want to go back around to someone from your past or completely close out your past and become single. And it's a timing thing here. You want to offer this cup of love, but you're stuck because you're still in something. And you think they won't accept your offer. I'm going to take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you, Aquarius. So, so many things remind me of you. So many things remind me of you. I'm going to take a look at the Lover's Oracle for you, Aquarius. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right, Aquarius. Does it feel right to you, Aquarius? If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at her immortal majesty at gmail.com. Aquarius, this will happen in the next 48 hours for September 1st through September the 2nd, 2023. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at her immortal maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.